Heavenly Father, eternal rock of ages, the King of glory, the King of kings. You're the Lord of lords, the I am that I am. You are the ancient of days, everlasting Father. Oh, we want to say thank you for a beautiful day in your presence. Lord, we choose to rejoice and we choose to be glad. In this day is so, so, so great to be alive and to be well again, Lord. And Lord, we want to say thank you because this is the day which you have made. And Lord, we want to say it's a good day and good things is going to happen to us, with us, in us, for us, through us, around us, within us today. In the name of Jesus, this is our choice and this is our goal. This is what we desire and this is our expectation. And we know the expectation of the righteous will not be cut off, Lord. This is what we hope and this is what we pray today in the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord is good and his mercies endures forever and ever and ever. I want to remind us that on Sunday, the 8th of October, 3 p.m. Central Time, 9 p.m. West African Time, we are in a conference and where we are motivating each other. We're talking about mental health and we are also talking about marriage and relationship. Um, we're going to be talking mainly about intimacy in marriage. It's so important that we attend this conference. I want to also remind us that the month of November, from November 1st, we are starting our 40 day fast. It's always a good time, right? And so I wanted to begin to pray and to prep. How do you prep? Pray about it that God will give you grace to be able to be part of the fast and prep by making sure that from now you close your pantry at eight. Close the pantry at eight. Once it's eight, go and shower, be ready for bed brush so that you don't have to eat anything again the moment your body starts getting used to not eating after eight you're ready prepping for the 40 day fast i want to remind us as well about the app please 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 can you give us a very good review get the app do your affirmation on the app and just you know Make sure that um, you share it, you send it to people, encourage them. Don't just share it. Encourage them to give us a good review. We need those reviews. They're so important. And please make sure that you're doing your affirmation morning and night. And um, without much ado, let us just do our affirmation now so we don't have to rush it when we're done. Can you just say after me, I am a new creation. All things have passed away and all things have become new. I walk in the spirit and I do not fulfill the lust of the flesh. I'm emotionally intelligent and I'm becoming a better version of myself through a renewed mind. I have the mind of Christ and I understand the things of the spirit. My past is not an obstacle to my future, but a testimony. I am stronger than any challenge and I choose to make the most of every situation or opportunity. I love God. I love myself and I love people. Today is a good day and good things will happen to me, for me and through me. I'm brimming with energy and I'm overflowing with joy and I embrace who I am. I strive to learn with an open and a positive mindset. I am time obedient. I'm slow to speak, I'm quick to hear and I'm slow to anger. I walk in love, joy and peace. I'm good, I'm kind and I'm gentle. I'm faithful and I'm patient. I have self-control. I am walking in God's purpose for my life. I have an excellent spirit, I'm a positive influence, and I will commit to smiling today. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. I know we are full of life today, we are full of energy. I want to remind us oh, that we are reading um, Brian Tracy's book this month, Universal Lore of Success and Achievement. We are celebrating this month. I want you to have a reason to celebrate. I don't want it to just be oh, claim, proclaim, confess, receive. 
<laughs> you know, they shouldn't be empty words. They are amazing. That, that The laws are amazing. They all kind of connect to each other. So I believe that one just explains the other one. And I want you also not to forget your five chapters of the Bible every day. Give it all it takes. You, you are made to be made. Whatsoever is born of God overcomes the world. And this is the victory that overcomes the world, even our faith. What you're doing is you're trying to make the tree good so that the fruits can be good. I recently planted some flowers and every time I go to those flowers, I'm so excited because they reflect my hard work. Whenever I'm watering those plants, I'm excited because I'm going to reap the reward of my hard work. <laughs> when I water the plants today and I go out the next day and I see those flowers blooming, I'm excited not just because the colors are beautiful, but because my hard work is showing on them and the more I see it the more I want to water them because any day I'm so tired I don't water them I go the next day and they're all like this crying <laughs> and I'm like no babies no babies I need to do something about this I uh, let me give you let me water you let me water you let me give you something I want you to learn to water yourself whenever you change Things will change around you. And that's what I'm taking my time. I want, I'm desperate that you change. Because when you change, I'm excited. I'm trying to water you. I'm trying to make you water yourself by watering you. Why we are positive influence. When you change, everyone around you will begin to change. You can't change anyone. But your change produces a ripple effect on the things around you on the people around you, on your environment. And so it's so important that you change so that other people can change. Don't sit down somewhere and be complaining about people, what they're doing, what they're not doing. I really wish people would change. Why are they doing this kind of thing? Let the change begin with you. Proverbs chapter 4, let's start from there. Verses 20 to 27. I love Proverbs 4. Verse 16 is my best. Uh, Proverbs 4 says you should get wisdom and with all you're getting, get understanding. It says wisdom is a principal thing. And verse says 20 to 27 says, my son, my daughter, my child, we're all sons. Be attentive to my words. Incline your ear to my sayings. Let them not depart or escape from your sides keep them within your heart how can the word of god not escape from your side do you have to put them like this it's your inner man it's talking about your inner eyes there is a level of concentration and focus you give to the word of god that it remains inside your mind and see that's why i want you to read the universal laws of success and achievement it helps you to understand what god is saying when he says that faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of god and that without works faith is dead there's so many things in the scripture that god is trying to explain to us god wants you to be obsessed with the word so that you become what you see you become the written epistle you become the word the bible says the beginning was the word the word was with god and the word was god jesus is the word it became word the word is jesus so the bible is saying because we're created in his image and his like after his likeness god wants us to become the word 
that people can see. People want to know what it means to be healthy. They look at you. They want to know what it means to prosper. They look at you. They want to know what it means to be good. They look at you. They want to know what it means to love. They look at you. They want to know what peace is about. They look at you. They want to know what self-control entails. They look at you. They want to know what patience is. They look at you. They want to know what long suffering is. They look at you. They want to know what it means to be gentle. They look at you. They don't need to go anywhere. They look at you. Why? The Bible says that even in darkness, in this dark world, God's glory will rise upon you. And Gentiles will now come to check out the light. And what is the light? The entrance of the word gives light and understanding to the simple. And kings will come to the brightness of of your rising. They want to look at you. And when you read that book, please, it is free on YouTube. Just type out the um, um, universal laws of success and achievement. It will pop up on YouTube. It is free. It is a free PDF. I know people, the only thing they think about is, oh my God, how much am I going to spend? It is better you buy the truth and you don't sell it. That's one thing the Bible says you must buy, the truth. Whatever it takes, get it. Don't let them depart from your eyes. Keep them in the midst of your heart. For they are life to those who find them. They are life to those who find them. You do not find what you are not looking for. You have to be conscious, intentional to find something that is missing. Whatever you're looking for in your life is missing, but you can find it when you incline your ears to the word and does not depart from your eyes. You will find it for he that seeketh, find it. He says you will find life and healing to all their flesh. That's what he gives you. In the process of you finding the word, you find life and you find health. You find life and you find healing. It's healing to all their flesh, every part of you. He now says, keep your heart with all vigilance, with all diligence. He says first that your years, you need to incline your year. He says, let it not depart from your eyes. Now it's saying that you should make sure that your heart, whenever they get in. Why? Because the gates of your heart are your eyes and your ears. He said, whenever you now get a hold of it in your heart, he said, make sure you keep it with all vigilance. Why? Because that's where everything that happens outside is processed out of the abundance of your heart the mouth speaks right everything that comes out is coming from your heart keep your heart with all diligence with all vigilance for out of it are the issues of life make the tree good and the fruits will be good your heart my book a beautiful heart please get that book if your heart is beautiful, your life is beautiful. A beautiful heart, a beautiful life. Get the book. You can also get it on the app. It says you get life, you get healing. And it says put away from you crooked speech. Put away from you. Never, never let your mouth say what you don't want to see. Put away from you a crooked lips. I tell my clients, don't come to tell me. The first day I will excuse them, but I'll always correct. Don't say my sickness. Oh my this. Oh my disease. Oh my that. I tell them, you are so rich. You have a disease. Where did you keep it? It's not yours to keep. So I tell them, why don't you rephrase it? 
whenever I have an encounter with anxiety, whenever I have a counter with this disease, whenever I have a counter, don't say it's yours so that it can leave. The reason you've you know, you've come to me and you've encountered me is because we, you want me to help you to get rid of them. Put away devious talk or crooked speech or devious talk far from you. Let your eyes look directly forward and your gaze be straight before you, not here and there. Whatever you want, lash on it, look at it, concentrate on it. Like I said, when you read that book, you understand more of the scripture. Ponder the path of your feet. Also, let your feet be in the path. Then all your ways will be sure. Do not swerve to the right or to the left. Turn your foot from away from evil. Make the tree good and everything will be okay. Matthew chapter 12 verses 33 to 37. The tree is known by his fruit. Who you are, who you say, what you say, what you do gives you away. What you're manifesting gives you away. We know what is inside as it is within, so it is without. Either make the tree good and its fruit good, or make the tree bad and its fruit bad. For the tree is known by its fruit. You brood of vipers, how can you speak good when you are evil? <laughs> For out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. The good person out of his good treasure brings forth good and the evil person out of his evil treasure brings forth evil i tell you on the day of judgment people will give account of every careless word they speak for by your words you will be justified and by your words you will be condemned you say oh is the words they're talking about the word you speak creates your reality right by the word of god the world was framed by what you speak we can tell what is going to happen if you're someone that is very pessimistic you will start seeing a lot of negativity around you you will attract people who are also very pessimistic from the abundance of the heart the mouth speaks we know the tree by the fruit it bears you need to begin to Guard your heart diligently by making sure you incline your ears to God's word and let it not depart from your eyes. You want to make this tree good so that every other thing can be good. Don't give more attention to what is happening outside than what is happening within. Pay more attention to what is inside. Make this tree good. And everything outside will become very, very, very good. We started, you know, with the laws and, you know, we talked about the laws of cause and effect. Everything embedded in that law, law of cause and effect. You want an effect, you go for the causes. If you activate a cause, then you will see the effect. Also, if you see an effect that you don't like, Go and look at what is causing it. Eliminate the cause and the effect will change. The law of the mind, what you hold in your mind is objectified. We, we talk about the law of mental equivalence. Be able to, in detail, describe what you want in your mind. Don't just say, I want to be happy. Please also remember, please remember this card. They're very important. Keep writing things because you want to get them into your mind. The problem we all have is we are not able to retain the things we want long enough till it becomes a reality. You, you think about one thing before you know what's happening, you start another thing and then you start another thing. That's why you're not getting results. You have to hold on to 
things. It's not like, it's, I'm not saying hold on to one thing. That's why you need to write so that the, the sense of touch, the sense of hearing, your, your, the sense of sight, the, the, your, your speaking, everything can come together when you're writing. Write every morning and write every evening. Write every morning and write every day. What I want to do tomorrow, write them. What goals I want to achieve in the next four weeks, write them down. When you wake up again, you write them down. In the, in the night again, you write them down. You get obsessed with them because you want to keep them in your mind so that it can be, you know, objectified. Love mentally equivalence you want to describe them in your mind so that when you see it you know law of correspondence as it is within so it is without law of belief belief creates your reality not your wish and i talked yesterday that you need to knock out self-limiting belief don't be that person that is always say, I cannot, I cannot, I cannot, you know, I don't think it's possible. Is it possible? You're always questioning everything that is good that should be in your life. I'm not, I don't think the person likes me. I don't think I believe, I don't believe, I believe this and that. I believe my marriage will not work. I believe my children are not doing great. I believe eliminate those beliefs because they will come to pass. I also talked about the laws of values and I say you know what you value by the things you do. Add action to what you think you are. And make sure your values are deep, you know, dedication, honesty, consistency, discipline. Let those things be your values and so you can fix yourself with good values. If you want to, what what do you admire in people? Who do you want to become? Who do you want people to know you as? And we went on to talk about the law of motivation. That's why I ended yesterday, law of motivation. We are driven by our dominant motivation. And um, he also talked about, you know, the ABC law. You know, ABCs, antecedents, the things that happened before B, behavior, and what happens after your behavior are your consequence. So live your life thinking of ABC. It's still up under the law of, you know, cause and effect. There are things that you, that happen that makes you do certain things. For instance, you go to a place and somebody did something and that led to a behavior and then there is consequence. For instance, somebody insulted you, you started fighting and the police came. <laughs> that's the, that's, those are, that's a short A, B, C. But there are longer ones. You come from a family, how you were nurtured is affecting the way you behave and how you behave is resulting to a consequence. And so can you turn your consequence to a source of motivation whether it's negative or it's positive you got a negative consequence and then you let it motivate you into behaving the right way so you can change that consequence that's what this is saying it's so important that you know that you can change things around you and when you change things change don't ever Look at the antecedents and think that's what you always do, what you always be. No, you can change things around. All you need to look at are the consequences. Look at the effect. Do you like them? If you don't like them, sit yourself down and let me warn you, it's never too late. You can change today. When you change things around, you will change. It's so important you know that remember we are reading this universal laws of success and achievement i really want you to digest it if you have been reading it let me know type it in the line and say you know what i have been reading it if you're on zoom say oh i've started reading it i want to know that you know you're obedient that you're reading it i appreciate you um pastor israel I appreciate you covenant of chico and i want every one of you to have something to celebrate this October. That's why we're doing this. Number, there's also law of subconscious activities. 
Say whatever thought or idea you hold in your mind mixed with emotion will come to pass. I, I particularly love this love subconscious activity. I use it when I want to sleep. See, whatever, whenever you are not able to sleep, it means that your mind is roaming, 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 roaming. Bring it to a point where you can tame it by writing certain things down before you sleep. Your, the, your subconsciousness gets hold of those things and begins to process them. That's why I said right at night. You will be calm if you learn to write. Whenever you're disturbed in the day, in the night, quickly take a piece of paper and take it and quickly write everything that is disturbing you down. It will, your mind will be freed and then you will become okay. And you can add speaking them out. You want to control that part of you that makes you worry. You want it to begin to do great things for you. Now, I can't go into details about, you know, your retula cortex and how your, your, your retula cortex is given an instruction to pursue whatever you are fixated on. You, you want a white car. Before you know what's happening, you start seeing white cars everywhere. That's the job of your retina cortex. It starts organizing the thing that you're fixated on. So when you're fixated on good things, it brings good people. It makes you see good people. You see opportunities. It's so important. Law of expectations. We all know that whatever you expect is what you will find. It's the law of faith. Whatever you expect with confidence will materialize. It's not just expecting it. A lot of people pray for one thing, but they're expecting something different. Now, it's your expectation that the Lord will fulfill. It's not your wish. It's not what you just say when you don't even mean it. What are you expecting in your life? What are you expecting in your relationship? What are you expecting in your career? What are you expecting today? If there's an expectation that is not glorifying, I want to go to God in prayer at this moment and say, Lord, help my own belief, Lord. <laughs> Change my expectations. Lord, I expect to see good. I expect to see life. I expect to see your hand upon my life. I expect to see opportunities today. I expect, oh God, Lord, to celebrate. I expect this month of October, Lord, Father, to be debt free. I expect, oh God, Father, for open doors in the name of Jesus. Every expectation that doesn't glorify you, I nullify them right now in Jesus' name. I destroy every imagination that exalts itself above the knowledge of God, that exalts itself above victory, that exalts itself above health, that exalts itself above prosperity. I pull them down right now in the name of Jesus. I will see good. I will hear good. Whatsoever I lay my hands to do will prosper. I have favor with God and with man in the name of Jesus. Wherever my name comes up, hmm, my name will only speak good in the name of Jesus. People are excited. They are more than willing to do me good in Jesus' precious name. Amen. I'm Reverend Dr. Lufalake. I'm the senior pastor of PFOM. You want to know more about PFOM, please go to pfom.org. Uh, we're going to be downplaying on that on that on that um uh, website. And please download Just Flaky. I'm the president of Just Flaky. You want to know more about me? You want to know more about Just Flaky? Please download Just Flaky app from your app store. And please share it. Do your affirmation every morning and night. It's on it. Upcoming event is on it. And Bible study is on it. There's a Bible on that. And please make sure that you also give. We believe in giving so much. Give it shall be given to you. Good measure. Press down, shaking together. Remember, we are talking about the law of cause and effect. You want to give so that you can reap. 
you want your cloud to be full so that your rain can fall and i say and i'm emphasizing make sure you save daily get envelopes i have always have envelopes you know you're giving to god and you're giving to yourself put money in an envelope every day any it doesn't matter how little it is you know i say here one dollar a day put money in and be putting it away i'll be hiding it somewhere the money you save will save you i don't know what god is going to cost you to do i mean make you do with the money but just obey this instruction you'll be amazed at what god will do with it it's going to become a seed to a tree one day i want to say i love you so much always pray for me just one minute every day pray for my husband pray for my children the god will keep us in the path of righteousness for his name's sake pray for this prayer altar the god will keep building it and the gates of hell will not prevail against it i'll be here again same time tomorrow but also remember sunday i will be waiting for you on zoom and it's going to be a very good time make sure that today you expect good things Remember when you change things around you, we we'll also change. I love you so much and keep being good. Amen and amen.